In this next video, we're going to go over some of the painting effects that you can do in Stipple. So from the main menu, I'm going to hit New Drawing. And in this menu right here, sort if you click the Source Image icon, uh, I'm going to throw in this American flag uh, to show my true patriotism and uh, allegiance to my country. And uh, so in mode, I'm going to click paint as opposed to draw mode. And you'll notice that down here in the in the dot color section, you'll see the flag. And that's because we're going to be sampling the the uh, the color directly directly from the flag image as opposed to using a preset dot color. So now you'll see that the background is uh, the background box. Now we can change that and I'm going to change that to a black. We'll keep the style the same right now and we're going to start a drawing now you'll see the american flag has popped up in the background and if we start drawing it you'll see that the the flag starts to the dots take on the color of the flag and the dots are coming in at kind of a random size so i'm going to go ahead and hide my background with the icon in the bottom right hand corner the ghost And you'll see the flag appear. <clears throat> now, I'm going to trash this with the icon in the top left-hand corner, the trash icon. And I'm going to bring up the dot size menu. So the dot size is the third icon from the left. It looks like a bunch of scattered dots. So this has dot size and brush size control. So now, if we were to pull this dot size all the way to the right, let's go all the way to the right you'll see that now my dots are are much larger than they are by default. And this gives kind of a neat effect. And uh, an example of how this can be used is start out with the big dots and then pull it down to smaller dots. And pull it down to even smaller dots until eventually we're at dots that are so small that we're basically just recreating the photograph itself. So now one thing to note and uh, you'll want to you'll want to take note if this big dot style is something that you're going to be using. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trash this again. Again icon in the top left of the trash bucket. <clears throat> so this plus sign next to the uh, next to the dot brush or to the ne next to the dot size scale. Uh, if you press it, it looks as though it changed your dot size to, to smaller. It, it, if you looked at the menu, watch, we'll do it again. So this is how it is by default with the dot not on. If we press the dot on, <clears throat> it looks as though, well, now my dot size should be smaller. And then if you drew, you'd say, well, no, that's the same size as they were uh, before. However, Pressing this dot, so when the dot is, is lit up and glowing, makes it so now the dots can get extra big, real big. So really what that plus size does is it, is it uh, gives you more specific control if you want small detail, because now we can, we've got more detail, a more fine control detail, but you pr press the plus and now it's more of just like a, more of a coarse detail you could call it. Next up is brush size. Um, if you have a, I'm going to switch back down to the smaller dot size because this is easier to demonstrate. So if we have the brush size really big, now when we move our finger or our stylus around, we're covering up more of the screen at once. Now if we make the dot, the brush size smaller, we're only drawing a very small specific part. Um, and next is density. So if we pull density all the way to the right, we have very dense, our, uh, our brush is, fill, is packed very densely with the dots. And if we pull it to the left, you'll see it's much more sparse, just the little speckles. Um, and down here we have style. So what this allows you to do is it's just a couple of presets. If you, if you go to find detail, you'll notice that the that the detail is kind of small and if you go to coarse detail you'll notice that the, the brush makes more of a uh, more coarse but all this thing is doing is just controlling those sliders right there uh, on the fly 
as opposed to you having to select each one. Um, so I'm going to trash this and uh, let's get our dot size kind of big for this next part. Turn the density up and the brush size up. You'll notice that the brush size, if you make the dots really big and the, and the dots are too big for that brush size, think of like the brush size is a certain radius. And if those dots are bigger than that radius, you'll notice that uh, only like one or two dots is going to come in per, uh, per press, whatever. That's, that's technical. You'll notice that as you start using. Um, so for this, I'm going to make my dots pretty big. All right. Uh, and I'm going to pull that density up too. So from here, I'm going to pull the opacity. Let's pull it down to medium and I'm going to pull the hardness down to half. Now you'll notice that it doesn't matter what color you pick. We're always sampling from the map. Just so you know, it doesn't matter if we pick a color, if we're in paint mode and I'll explain that a little bit more in a second. <clears throat> if we're in paint mode, we're always going to be selecting the the color of the the draw image unless the dot falls off the falls off the image itself and then it'll color itself as that dot color so uh <clears throat> all right so now you'll notice that with the opacity and hardness down i i get kind of a watery color effect and uh if i pull my uh so uh, one thing that i didn't explain is is this is this dot size has two sliders one is your minimum dot and one is your maximum dot so if I make my minimum dot, my maximum dot, more of a uniform, closer together, you'll notice that the dots come out a more uniform size. Whereas if I'm pulled out all the way to having really large on the right and really small on the left, you'll notice that the dots come out at a, at a pretty varied size. Oh, don't want to do that. So I'm going to trash it. Um, okay. So getting on with this uh, opacity demonstration. So now if we start out with a, a low opacity and big dots and then uh, change the opacity a little bit higher, a little bit, uh, a little bit harder dots, we can kind of create this interesting effect where we're going from um, a very foggy, uh, a very foggy, faded, no detail drawing to then very specific, very high detailed dots. It's kind of an interesting effect that you can do. Um, let's check the clock. We're at seven minutes. Okay, we can keep going. All right, I'm going to trash this. And next we're going to talk about the image palette a little bit more. Uh, I'll keep these dots. I'll keep every, I'll keep this, these settings. Um, if you're following along at home, these are the settings I'm using. Uh, all right, so I'm going to open up the image palette. And we talked about this a little bit when we were showing the reposition in the last one, where if we hit the image position, we can change it around. I'll go, I'll describe this a little bit more. So on the top, we have a gallery. And if we hit any of these uh, S icons, you'll notice that the, uh, that your picture select, your, your device's picture select pops up. And then we can pick an image to load in. Um, see so in this case i'm going to grab that abraham lincoln that we were using in the first one so now you'll see that in our gallery as it's called uh we've got abraham lincoln and we have the american flag and we can load more images in if we want to again you can hit the folder icon or the s icon all right but we're going to stick to these two so next on this palette we have draw image color map mask and background and as we click on each one we can select it. So if we wanted to reposition or if we wanted to load this draw image up, um, we can do that by selecting draw image and clicking Abraham Lincoln. So now you'll remember in the beginning of this, uh, when you start up Stipple, it says uh, which mode you want to be in draw mode or paint mode. Basically draw mode and paint mode is just controlling how Stipple loads the initial image in. If you're in paint mode, it loads the image into color map. If you're in draw mode, it loads the image into draw image. Draw image works as we saw in, in the first video and color map works as we just saw as the painting. But we can use these two together. And uh, I'm gonna reposition Abraham Lincoln a little bit because I already know, as we can see, if we click the ghost icon, now we can see both images in here. Now we see the American flag as well as Abraham Lincoln. 
So I'm going to go ahead and make Abraham Lincoln a little bit bigger. So when you hit the reposition, you'll see that now we can move Abraham Lincoln around. Uh, we can mirror him with this mirror button and we can fade him. Now the fade doesn't apply to the draw effect. It doesn't have any effect on your uh, your draw image, but what it does is it is it lowers the opacity of your repositioned image so you can better position him on the screen if you're trying to do something precise. Like say we wanted to get Abraham Lincoln's eye directly on that star of the flag. Uh, so we can do that. Pull the opacity up, back. It doesn't matter as soon as you hit uh, the image position again, it's going to lock that. Now, <clears throat> what I want to do, and this was described in the first one, is I want to have white on the right, and that's because I want to. I'm going to have a, a. I've got a black background, so I'm going to. I want to draw the light portions of the image. Now you'll see when we have a color map loaded and a draw image loaded, we get a pretty cool effect right away. Where now we're drawing. Abraham Lincoln's face so the uh, the size of the dots that I'm putting down are being controlled by the Abraham Lincoln image but the color of the dots rather than the color being uh, being dictated by the uh, the color palette the color is being dictated by this American flag so I'm going to toggle my uh, my ghost layers off again so we can see what we're drawing. So now we have Abraham Lincoln drawn in an American flag, which, I mean, that's that's patriotic, right? I'm proud to be an American. Um, okay, so one thing to note. Let's see, because this is uh this is a palette that doesn't that I don't use that often. However, we should probably describe it right now because you're probably wondering why there's so many little ghost icons. So on the right, we have the ghost icon that'll that'll toggle on and off globally all of your, your ghost images. And ghost images are the images that you've loaded, but they just hang around just so you can see them. But the fifth icon from the left is the, uh, the ghost layers menu, where you can actually, and for a better demonstration, I'm just going to trash Abraham Lincoln. Um, actually, let's talk about this. To save your draw image, this uh, the third icon from the top left is the save icon. And if you hit save, it says saving image. Uh, the newer versions are going to have a save menu. Um, so if, if this, uh, this, this video might be out of date by the time you watch it. But anyway, hit save. If it's your first time, it's going to ask you for permission. Just say yes, and then you'll have saved your image. So I'm going to trash this for demonstration of the ghost images um, all right so if I wanted my draw image to be more present I could pull this slider up if I want my draw image to fade away more I can do that if I want my American flag to be up more I can do that if I want all of them to be more present I can press I can move my uh, my slider my master slider to the left and right and we'll get into mask in a different one but the same thing works for this for that now if you just want I, you just say well I want to see my draw image but I don't want to see my color map well that's possible too with the eye icon over here and what these locks over here do is basically if uh, by default if you shut off your color map it's gonna shut off that ghost image but say you're like well I still want to see my uh, my color map well you can unlock that icon and press the eye icon so now you can see the flag despite color map not being on whatever the ghost stuff doesn't get used that often as soon as you you fill up the screen with enough dots you can't even really see your uh you can't see those ghost layers too well anyway um and if you want to shut off as i kind of just demonstrated whoops saved it again by accident uh so in this demonstration right now with color map that little that little glowing box you see the glowing box that's how you toggle these things on and off but it's also so say you're drawing and, and you've got that color map on but you're like I want to go back to just one color dots click color map and now we're drawing just one color dots so I think that is a pretty good demonstration 
of paint mode and color map and the next one we'll get into masks and we'll go into the levels palette a little bit more.